Not only has science created technology that will allow blind people to see, it's done it in two different ways. I'm Anthony, and yesterday in my Google Glass video, I mentioned the Argus 2, a retinal implant that is allowing the blind to see. But it's not the only one out there. The Alpha IMS is another retinal prosthesis that's currently in testing. It doesn't sound like they're competitors, as much as they're for different kinds of blindness. So the Argus 2 is actually multiple pieces of hardware, not just an implant. 60 electrodes are surgically placed into the retinal tissue of the patient. And then the patient's given a pair of glasses with cameras in them. And the cameras send video to a belt pack that converts that into electrical impulses and then wirelessly transmits the information back into the implant in the eye. The electrodes basically show flashes of light black and white, low resolution imagery. It works really well for high contrast stuff. So it's great in daylight. It mostly helps the patient to get a general sense of their surroundings. And since the implant takes the place of retinal tissue, it only works for blindness that's caused by the retina. It's been approved by the FDA and it will cost $150,000 for the unit, plus the cost of surgery and patient training. It's expected that it'll work for about 15,000 people. Now the other implant that's gone into testing is the Alpha IMS. This one offers higher resolution and it's less bulky, but it's gonna work for fewer people. The Alpha places 1,500 electrodes underneath the patient's retina compared to the Argus's 60, which sit on the retinal tissue. There are no external cameras or processors, just a microchip inside the patient's skull. And the electrodes capture the light, transmit the signal to the microchip, and then the microchip sends the signals directly to the brain. The whole thing's powered by a wireless pocket battery and the patient gets a brightness dial installed behind their ear. Can you imagine that? Just kind of like, oh, it's a little bright in here. Oh, there, there we go. So far, eight test patients have the alpha and they've been able to make out facial expressions and close up objects. They can see the horizon line and houses in the distance. Now the alpha might sound like the better deal, but it's not gonna help as many people. It only works for patients who have blindness that's associated with light detecting parts of the eye. So if any of the vision processing bits of the optical system are damaged, it won't work. The Alpha is still in testing too, while the Argus has already been approved for use. I'm beginning to feel a little bit like a gadget review blog with all this comparison stuff. Oh, this one has 60 electrodes and this one has 15. The real takeaway here is that we are eliminating human blindness. For all of history, we haven't been able to do anything about this, and now we have two working solutions for it. And you know what? Those electrodes and chips are just gonna get smaller and smaller, and batteries are gonna get more and more efficient. Things are gonna get less expensive. Where can we be with this in 10 years? Will we have blindness completely eliminated? And what do you think we'll be able to take out next? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.